All right, what's up, guys? Khalif here. Uh, I just got done reacting to uh, it was Fortnite event, so I was in React Andy mode, and I just got done reacting to uh, Multiverse, Multiverses, or whatever the new um, is it? What's the name of that comic book? WB fighting game, platform fighters coming out. Looks pretty sick. I haven't seen any of the stuff for Project L either, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch that. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be vibing with a lot more than the multiverse stuff, which is basically a Brawlhalla killer. It's not a Smash killer, it's a Brawlhalla killer. And this one, um, they're taking a long time to develop it. It's still not gonna come out until 2023, which is probably a good idea. From what I remember reading and stuff, it's gonna be an assist based 2D fighter. And these are the Cannon Brothers. And is Seth Kellyan still working on this one? Either way, these are some like super OG fucking like Marvel 1, Marvel 2, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter like fucking like um, a Dark Stalkers. Well, not Dark Stalkers. What was the first one? It was Dark Stalkers 1. Like OG, OG 2D players. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to be, they're going to do it right. Uh, so let's see what's up. Hey everyone, I'm Tom. These fucking nerds. Like, God bless their souls. Tony, Project L's technical lead. They deserve Last to be Illuminati, talked, damn it. I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting game here at Riot. We showed you a brief glimpse of game. I already like what I said. I already like what I fucking see, dude. I see Jinx. And I like, uh, I don't play that. I didn't, didn't play that much League of Legends. I know that that's Jinx's, um, in game character portrait, which would be really cool if all the characters keep their. Um, retain all of their League of Legends, um, you know, recognizable traits, all the personality, all the, um, all the vibes so that all the League of Legends players can, like, get into it, get into watching it and stuff like that, because, you know, we need, we need their money. Fighting game. And I like that. So I see a launcher into, did she right. cancel it? Into? Last time we talked, I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting oh. game here. I can't even tell if she canceled it into the upshots. Right. We showed you a and the upshots were like kind of juggling each way, and then we talked. I let you in on the at the end of the move. She here, right? she popped out. She like is she teching or is that just it used the gauge? We showed you a no, brief glimpse of gameplay. It, it like, said we'd be going dark for a while, but we'd share more when we're ready. Well, a lot's changed since then. We made some great progress, Excuse me. and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit since you heard from this us. This is like playing on keyboard. And while the dude. game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit. Wow, since you heard yo, progress. okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. It actually looks fast. I was just watching that fucking multiverse stuff. I saw nothing even where close to the speed of this dash up. She's teleporting, and then he backdashed. He did something like a V shift or some shit. She whiffs her mix. That could have been either side too. We made some great progress, and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit since you heard from us. So I want to bring up hmm. the speed on what we've been working on. From the beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a 2D fighter set in the universe of Runeterra, but the 2D fighting. Sp what the fuck is Runeterra? Is that League of Legends? This is pretty broad. I know Ari. She a bad bitch. Well, I guess she's a cat, so she's like a bad feline. Even from that starting point, there were a ton of different directions we could take the game. After lots of exploration, we're excited to say that we've landed on a direction that we're pretty pumped about. Dude, Das Boo, this nigga getting sent to Spar- Oh my god, dude, you down the well. In this quick update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core- Please tell me he's got Tim's. You got the Tims. All right, sorry. In this quick more. update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core gameplay, character design, and netcode. But first, allow me to reintroduce Project L. I'm definitely playing Jinx. I like Jinx. Is that a, just a normal jump? Is that a command jump? He's running. So we got runs, like fucking King of Fighters. That's good. I'm sorry, did he just double jump? Motherfucker. So we got chains, cancels, mixes, tylos. That was a command sort of jump thing.
Hmm. Damn, dude. Locks locked down full screen. Ooh. Sorry, did he bring him back? Also, is this normal speed? Dude, why are these games so fucking slow? Please tell me this is slowed down. This is not real gameplay. That's not that slow. Oh shit! Yo, active switch? Okay. Ari's doing cool stuff. All right, Project cool. will be an assist-based fighter. You'll build and pilot a team of He's gonna be like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I feel like this is the right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building eight, and on-point decision-making. On top of the right foundation to build a game that rewards... Okay, so it's a... Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like Magic like Series, because I saw he was doing that string over there, but he did end in the launcher. He probably did the standing heavy, but the launcher's the right probably the crouching heavy. The game that rewards... Also, the anti hair. Strategic team building and on the and Then he had the helm breaker, ground bounce. Strong fighting fundamentals. Our goal is to build yeah, ground bounce for the. Fast -paced oh, that's fucking gross. Fantasy, I love it. While leaving plenty of room for you to be creative. I love that. The on top um, of strong fighting fundamentals. Reset sites, which is. Our goal is to build a game that delivers a fast paced, dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in game. Very clear blocks done, like as opposed to being there, hit. We're inspired by the is that guard break I just saw? Or, or, sorry, I hit my mic. Um, like a or shit turned there. red. Or is that just his big ass sword? This is really good, dude. That's a really cool. Um, what do you call it? Keyframes? We're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and two hey, IQ plays hey, behind hey, some of the most iconic hey, moments hey, in fighting game hey. history. The dream okay. Throw. Let me listen to him. Combat Sorry, I'm getting hype already. You see, like, I'm gonna like this game. I, get, I, I don't know. Like express yourself in gameplay. Express like yourself. You We're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and 200 IQ plays behind some of the most iconic moments Outplays, hard reads. History. The dream for us is to deliver a game that allows you Yo, to create stop. new iconic moments for many years to come. Now let's talk about controls. I'm an Ari Jinx man. I know mate. that a lot of you have strong opinions about mechanical difficulty in fighting games. Yeah, a lot we'll of you fucking bitches can't do a quarter circle. No, I'm kidding. That's one of the most... I guess I... Well, I mean, that was my initial thing. I was kind of joking, but I mean... <clears throat> Everybody's first thing that they jump to fighting game players like, oh, Broly Legs. He's a guy who plays with his face, right? But it's like, if you last Broly Legs. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's an active opinion he holds or if it's one that he holds publicly just to help people out. But he's tweeted before, yo, don't use me as an example for why everybody else sucks at execution. This stuff is difficult. I'm paraphrasing. I'll flash the tweet up somewhere if I'm talking. But, um, or if I feel like it. But, uh... Motion inputs. So, I think everybody can learn how to do it. Most people are like, yeah, I'll learn how to do it. I don't know. Some people, I guess, maybe. <coughs> Sorry. I keep coughing. I Water went down the wrong pipe earlier. I'm fucking dying. Um, how do I feel about motion inputs? It didn't take me to learn to learn them, but then again, I'm a very, uh, I'm a nerdy gamer. Like, I have dexterous fingers. Other people... You should be able to learn how to do it quickly. Or not quickly, but you should be able to learn it. But when we're talking about video games in year 2021, about to be 2022, and this game is going to get released in 2023, people... The amount of people that might get frustrated with the game, like, I can't do a fireball, I can't do the moves I want, I'm just going to quit and watch instead... Most of the people that play fighting games will like be like, oh, we don't want that person playing anyways. But that person did want to play. He was interested. He had moves that he wanted to do, etc., etc. But the the input for it kept him from enjoying it. Now, whether or not it's because he refused to practice, didn't want to practice or whatever, there was that that resistance that a person felt. And that first resistance layer, some people push through and get to like the next layer, which is going to be losing afterwards. Like you're going to learn how to do your special moves and you're going to learn how to do your combos and stuff, but then you're going to get your ass whooped. That's the second wall of resistance. But that first wall of resistance of I can't do the moves I want just hanging out by myself, just fucking around. I don't want to spend 30 minutes, two hours for like, a week developing muscle memory 
I'm just going to go play Valor instead where I already have muscle memory or I'm just going to go do this, whatever. So, and I, I think it's okay for games, for there to be games where we don't all have motion inputs, but there always has to also be games where they have motion inputs because the people that like them, we, we basically do need them. Like I couldn't, you can't play Marvel, a Marvel Infinite or Marvel Three type game, without special inputs. Like you just can't do it. But when you're building a game from the ground up with simple inputs, it should be fine. Like Dragon Ball Fighters is fine. So yeah, I'm cool with it. Us is to deliver a game that allows you to create new iconic moments for many years to come. Now let's talk about controls. I know that a lot of S one have no. strong opinions about mechanical difficulty. That's anti air two H for project. Dell, we're embracing two, the easy to learn, hard to master three, mentality. A three. So yes. Oh, special uh, one, special two. Know that a lot of attack you have strong one, attack two. About okay. Mechanical difficulty <coughs> fighting games. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master. That's a one attack three. So yes, we are making that it slash? easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. Yeah. That said, we absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character. Yeah. Providing opportunities for you to showcase Damn. your high end. Deep ass cross up. One of the delights a. of fighting games is seeing top bounce. players move and fight in a way that's inspiring and distinct. Dude, the Jinx, oh, the Jinx missile fall. That was cool. Is that a reset or is that an extension? That's inspiring and distinct. That's an extension. OTG. We want to set that aspirational summit and build a steadily increasing Damn. difficulty curve to get you there. This isn't about building a game where new players have a chance to be the pros. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Design, it's course, like it should be fun for everybody, but the people that are good should be levels. fucking everybody up. Character which is design. what happens in like pretty much every fighting game that doesn't have um like even the it, like people still to this day are complaining about Street Fighter Five having simple inputs and stuff, but it's like Daigo is still beating everybody, dude. It's Daigo. Daigo's fucking 45, dude. He's geriatric and he's still beating everybody, dude. Like, does it fucking matter? Like, does it matter if the inputs are simple? Because you still have to beat Daigo, dude. Like, come on. And be, like, the new people that have been winning games aren't bad. They were good at the older games. Like, um, what? Li Joe got top eight, Street Fighter five. He was good at Street Fighter four. Uh, Chris G was winning tournaments when the game first came out. He was good at Street Fighter four. Like, it's not. Uh, what Mina RD dude? He's good. Like he's good at the game. I think I don't know. I don't really watch him like that. He doesn't play Birdie anymore. Right? He plays like ah, who do I remember? Who's he playing? Whatever, man. <laughs> of course, it's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Character design, of course, plays a huge role in this. Jinx is sick. For characters, our goal is to deliver on the iconic moves that League champions are known for. Yeah. And adapted to work in a fighting Ooh -wee. game. We We want our champs to have powerful. I'm an Ari Jinx man already, the freedom dude. To play your character your way. Let me get that Jinx OTG missile. That that was you to Echo, re envisioned for Project L. Who? Echo is a punk genius. He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, dude, this motherfucker's got a double jump. And stay one step oh, ahead of his that's pretty cool. I like the movement too. Is his chrono strike. Genius. What am I seeing? He's a brilliant inventor who, through time is that a dash that's immediately into a run and, and you can like cancel it with crouch? Yeah. The centerpiece of Echo's kit is his chrono strike. It's a forward moving slash, <clears throat> that's a pretty good poke, and a combo under. Okay. When Echo slashes with chrono strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next He's got a launcher in there. You can use the rewind to double down on your first slash and make a different choice. That's really cool, actually. Echo works what? just fine as a oh, shit. Player, but he really comes online dude. to take full advantage dude, you were of getting the ability. This thing is gonna mix right. your shit, it's dude. It's a forward-moving slash that's a pretty good poke and a combo ender. What was when that Echo's at the end? Did he, like, pull on something? Slash that's a pretty good poke and a what is that? Why do you... What is this? He's pulling some shit. 
Oh, the poke and a combo under. He had to pull it to go when back to normal. Bonus strike. He generates an after image that he can rewind. Back oh, to is that him? Um, that's right. him manipulating time. It's a forward moving slash. That's a pretty good poke. And a yeah, combo when it's under. purple, he went back. When I go slashes with bonus strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next few seconds of the match. Hmm. You can use he the can rewind go back whenever he wants. First slash. Make a different choice. And Interesting. Into a high committal launcher. It's like, yeah, you can just go in just and then, like, at the end, just, like, go back and But chill. it really comes online when you take full advantage of the rewind ability. He can vary the timing of the rewind to mix up his opponent, but cover for assist attacks made by his teammates. And in the hmm. right hands, rewind can also be a strong combo extender. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then there's Time Winder, Echo's Time Grenade. Damn, that's the hard. That's the soft. Combo. That's fucking that zero lightning down. soft ass knockdown, dude. Holy shit! Combo me, please. For basic and combos. Hard knockdown, get mixed. Throw time winder from range, giving it a chance to charge up and explode into a time distortion field that slows Echo's opponents for the next few seconds of the match. That's really cool. For both of these moves, does it work on block? Just to give you a tool with a clear primary role, with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it. In Dude, the okay, yeah, this guy looks like guy cool. Now, while gameplay is obviously super important, high quality net code is essential for any yeah. great fighting game. Dude, this is mother. All these motherfuckers are like buttering us up with these. With these features, man. Multiverse is talking about, oh, yeah, we're, 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 uh, what was the word he used? We're dedicating ourselves to ensuring top of the line net code. I'm like, we'll see, motherfucker. So, this is an area where we're investing big. I'm going to turn it over to Tony and he'll walk you through some of our networking foundations. Proton can, Proton. Net code has been a top Dude, of what line. What the fuck was? Do y'all hear that? My fucking neighbors. Tiny Pee Pee and his Mustang are having fun out there. the FGC for the past year, especially since we haven't been able to gather for live events. Yeah, we gotta have Project good necklace in the FGC. This is unacceptable. Our networking stack to deliver the same highly responsive gameplay that you'd get playing offline. Of course, this starts by using rollback networking at the core. Mm -hmm. Rollback does a great job of maintaining a consistent low input delay across a wide range of pings. We know what rollback does. We've though. also developed a new networking model that enhances the benefits of rollback with core technology developed by other games at Riot. Okay. We'll route network traffic between players through Riot Direct, our internal mm. network already being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. Nice. We're also actively managing nice. the players' connections. That, so that's network. where, um, network let me see. Traffic. what am I looking at? I'm not a networker. I understand basics. A new networking model. So is this, is this like a chart of like data centers and stuff like that? And how, um, motherfuckers over here in uh, Saskatchewan or whatever, that's like San Diego or some shit. And he's got a data center up here at what? Fuck it. Is that Seattle? Is this, this is Washington, isn't it? Whatever, dude. So he's just pinging. And it's cut down on the pings, it's a lot faster. So is this like where the benefits of having higher well, amounts of data servers that are just like, more, technology developed more data servers for the Riot. game. So it's like, you know, Riot, Riot a lot of money. So the Riot netcode should be fucking Our dope. Internal network no already excuse. Being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. We're also actively managing a player's connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. Okay. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. Really? And if someone reach quick, how? Laggy or drops. If their connection is laggy, they'll so suffer, opponent, but not you. Ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. I'll be interested to see how I don't. I need to see how somebody uh, like breaks that down because the way it's been explained to me so far is that the issues with the um, net code so far is that uh, the person that has a good connection is going to be the one that's going to be suffering because they're sending the packets perfectly fine. Their packets going through. There's no packet loss. It's, you know, but the person that they're receiving the packets from, they're fucking it up. They're the ones that's like living underwater at McDonald's or whatever. But this seems like it's gonna is it gonna like artificially punish people we'll see i don't know i'll have to explain and if someone rage quits in but the that's really match, cool our net code will determine who should win and who should be penalized absolutely we're taking net play very seriously for project l yeah it's the primary way that's how you build the game. the game internally mm -hmm. and we're working every day to make sure it's they a play test it online release. that's smart we hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at project l yes sir before we go I want to remind you that our game is still in R&D. Trash try to get a job. We're happy with how fuck. core combat is shaping up, but there's still a ton of work to do. 
Thanks so much for your patience while we take our time to make sure that we get this right. Yeah. Mm, so it has awesome. to release right to the Street Fighter V was dead on, a, dead on arrival and motherfuckers made sure that shit stayed buried buried dude. you got motherfuckers that are literally on reddit complaining about shit that fucking happened in 2017 like oh yeah Street Fighter V still sucks dude that game is like five times better than it was on release it's got arcade it's got uh, tutorials it's got uh, fucking multiple challenge modes it's got multiple features it's got a lot of good characters. The characters have multiple uh, V triggers, multiple V skills. The Vega's not dog shit anymore. I can't cry anymore. He's he's all right. V shift and like his he's all right. He's okay. Um, but because the game had such a absolutely horrendous launch, it was it, the 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 first impression was set in stone for people and. This is a, this is a little bit of a, this is some insider trading or insider trading here. I don't know if it's true or not. I've read multiple people, you know, people go lie, whatever. It is. People are, have said that other player, other games, other people who follow or are players of other games in the fighting game community, like the Tekkens of the world, Guilty Gears, um, they are purposefully continuing to be obtuse about street fighter 5's improvements because they want street fighter 5 to no longer be the front runner in the fighting game community so they are actively trying to make sure that street fighter 5 is known as like a bad game so every time people think about street fighter 5 tekken players want you to think that the game sucks because they want tekken to be the front runner in the fgc it's a super long convoluted story that's a whole that's like a podcast to talk about but yeah, so that's one thing. But my point is, it's got to come out good. It has to. It has to. A hundred thousand million percent. If it comes out bad, like fucking No Man's Sky, it's not going to recover, dude. Actually, it could. Maybe it's League of Legends. There's still a ton of work to do. Thanks so much for your patience while we take our time to make sure that we get this right. Yep. So that's all for now. Last time we spoke, Project All went dark afterwards. But this time, we'll do our best to keep you in touch when we have major news to share. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Ah, bless. This attack firing looks fast. Yep, say Jam knows what's up. All right, that was cool. Uh, yeah, man, that looks really. It looks really good. Yeah, like like say Jam said, it looks fast, much better than my multiverse stuff. It looks slow as molasses. Dude, I can't do it. I have to have some speed to my games, dude. Melee, Marvel, uh, fucking, like, I, I play Fortnite now, I play Quake, you know, like, some speed, dude, but anyways, that was, yeah, I, I, I completely trust the, uh, Cannon Bros, they're gonna be hiring good people, uh, I trust Riot to make a good game that's gonna make them money, uh, yeah, man, alright, yeah, it's pretty cool, alright. I'll see you guys next time.